In this video, we are going to take a look at a diagram on your Trophic Cascades discussion questions just to explain the arrows and what you're looking for as you work through this diagram. On the front, you have some questions that you will answer based on the video that you watch, and they're just true and false. This is a document that you can type right into on your Chromebook as well. The first part of the questions you can email me and ask me about if you have a question. And this diagram is a part that I wanted to talk about and share with you today so that you're aware of what's going on with the arrows. In the last video, we looked at trophic levels and learned that the orca at the top was an apex predator. And that the orca would consume sea lions or sea otters. These are sea otters. Maybe yeah, I should label those. And that sea otters then consume urchins. Urchins eat kelp, okay, which is the lowest trophic level here. These are the producers. Now, if orcas are present, this large arrow indicates that they will eat a lot of sea otters. If orcas eat a lot of sea otters, the sea otter population will decrease. So you see a small arrow, a very skinny arrow, showing that there aren't many sea otters to eat the urchins. The urchin population then is very large because nothing is eating them. And the urchins then have a high grazing intensity. The urchins eat a lot of kelp. So the kelp gets very small. The kelp amount gets very small. If the apex predator or the orca is removed, as in this column, we have no apex predator. So the sea otters are free to grow very, very large, and we see a large population of them. The sea otters then eat a lot of urchins, okay? So the urchin population gets very small. If there aren't many urchins, there isn't much eating of kelp going on, and the kelp population gets very, very large. So those are the things that you need to think about as you are answering the questions on the other side of this, the re remainder of the questions that you have there. And again, email me if you have any questions about